Okay guys, I thought I would show you how to make these biomass uh, briquettes. Um, these would be good for uh, starting fires in your fireplace or wood stove. Um, what these are is essentially um, shredded paper. It can be newspaper, that would be best, but uh, junk mail. Anything except for glossy uh, printed material. So what I do is I just put it through my paper shredder and when I get a bin full I'll pour it in a five gallon bucket and uh, after a while five gallon bucket's about two-thirds full and then I will just add a quantity of water to it and I will show you how I make these briquette, briquettes. Uh, essentially take a, a inch and a half PVC pipe and cut it off. Uh, this is eight and a half inches long. Uh, it'll fit nicely in the, the caulk gun here. Uh, so an inch and a half PVC, eight and a half inches long. And I cut some uh, slits in the pipe. Um, how I did that was with the uh, hacksaw and I mounted this in a vise and then I just used the hacksaw. Uh, so that's one cut, two cuts, three cuts. Um, it's much easier in a, hack, in a uh, bench vise. Uh, but that is so it will expand to release the water and I'll show you how to do this in a second. So uh, I had one and a half inch PVC around. I had some old hose clamps. Um, that one in particular has seen its better days but uh, I can use it for this. Um, big enough to go around the inch and a half and tighten up. Uh, then I had some flat washers. These need to be big enough to go on the inside of the one and a half inch PVC pipe. Um, screwdriver to tighten down the hose clamps and old um, caulk gun and then something to push the briquette out. Um, I use this, you can use a broomstick, you know, anything that will allow you to push with some degree of force uh, to get those briquettes out. And I'll show you the process uh, in a second. So you probably have these items lying around. The caulk gun, hacksaw, um, one and a half inch PVC pipe, a couple of hose clamps to fit over them, slotted screwdriver, and flat washers to fit inside. I'll show you how I did that. Let me reposition the camcorder here. Hopefully it won't be too much light. Um, so get down so you can see the process. Sorry for all the movement. Okay. All you do, uh, take one of these flat washers, put it in the bottom, flat against your palm, and get in the bucket, and get all of that shredded paper, and just pack it in. Uh, it's a little bit messy. This has been sitting in here for quite a while. I've done several batches of this, so it's getting quite mushy at this point, but hey, my shredder bin has got full again, so we'll do this. You know, it's not going to save a bunch of money, although those fire starting logs that you buy, uh, I've seen them at the grocery stores, I've seen them at home improvement centers, what have you, uh, they're, they're pretty expensive. Um, these will do just as good, just need to let them dry out really well. Uh, and if you use newspaper, a good quantity of newspaper, um, right along with the advertisements that you get, again, as long as it's not glossy printed material, um, that glossy paper just just does not burn very well. Um, so that's packed pretty tightly. So all I'll do is get another washer. Put it in. Get my hose clamps. 
position those. this end the caulk gun. So again, pretty simple process as you can see. I'm just going to try to squeeze the water out of it. Compress. Squeezing the water out. Some of it's going in the bucket and some of it's going outside of it. But just compress shredded paper. This not very time consuming at all. The time is going to be taken when you, they dry out. So let's fill it in from the other side. I still have that flat washer in the tube there at the front and and in the middle. I'll just separate briquettes. Papers going in. Pack it as much as you can with your fingers. We're going in there. Thank you.